Hey marketers, I'm Brie Nakatani here at Wishpun and I'm going to teach you seven best practices for web form design. Are you getting the conversion rates you want from the forms on your website? Nope. Creating a great web form is easy. You just need to know how. So I'm going to teach you seven key principles that can help improve your conversion rates. By learning how to design a great web form, you can get the most out of your traffic. So a form is the main way that you generate and learn about your leads. It's where your page goes from purely informational to a business tool. Optimizing your form's design will encourage people to actually complete your form. So let's start with number one. Use directional cues to guide your visitors to your form. Directional cues are signals to tell someone to complete an action. You can guide visitors to your form by using directional cues such as photos, videos, shapes, or text. And here's a tip. Use an image of a person looking at your form. Humans are social creatures, so we tend to be drawn to what others are looking at and you can use this human trait to direct visitors to your form. So for example, you can have a person looking at your form with their eyes or their head, pointing to your form with their hands or their body, holding your form, or use arrows. Our whole lives have been driven by shapes and symbols directing us where to go, which path to take. The most influential of these symbols is the arrow. On to number two. Use contrast to make your form stand out. Using contrast on your form makes it easy for people to understand what you want them to focus on. Knowing what to contrast can be the hardest part. And if you're having trouble creating forms that convert, you can check out, yes, Wishpons. Wishpon has really easy online forms that you can create in seconds. But anyways, contrast makes an object distinguishable through color, brightness, and object limitation. So for color, if you put a primary and a complementary color together, it will make it stand out. And with brightness, if you put a light colored form on top of a black background, it will make that pop out and vice versa. And with object limitation, you want to limit the objects and text on your page so that people aren't distracted by other information. Twitter does an awesome job at this. They don't have too much text on your page that gets you distracted and its focus is on signing up or logging in. Number three, make your call to action button stand out. Your CTA button is the final action that your visitors are going to take before they proceed to another page. It is critical to get this portion of your form right and to let the visitors know what will happen when they press the button. It has to stand out. Both the button's text and appearance are equally as important. Please never leave the default text on your button as submit. The best practices for your CTA button is to tell visitors exactly what they're going to get. Think of it as a sentence starting with the phrase, I want to subscribe for my newsletter, start my free trial today, and put that on your button. So your main focus should be making your CTA button stand out. So that could be color contrasting the button, making the size really big, making sure your button looks like a button, and directional cues. Number four, make your form title easy to understand. An effective form title says two things. It tells them what they're gonna get after they complete the form and what the benefits are of what you're gonna give them. Think of the title of this form as an action statement. By filling out this form, I get Dot, dot, dot. and underneath, provide the benefits and let them know what they're gonna get out of this. Use bullet points. It's nice. Number five, make your form easy to use. Clearly show visitors what they need to fill out on your form. Straightforward Fields encourages conversion by decreasing the time it takes for them to fill out your form. Use specific labels. So if you're asking for a name, ask for a name. If you're asking for a last name, put last name. If you're asking for a full name, ask full name. Give an example. If you have a form field that's kind of confusing, show them what they need to do to enter. Be clear if a section is mandatory. If it is a required field, put an asterisk sign. Provide a shortcut to sign up. Allow people to sign up with one of their social media accounts. Number six, keep your fields to a minimum. The more fields you have on your entry form to enter, the lower the participation because the more work they have to do to fill it out. The current attention span of a human being is less than a goldfish. That means the quicker you can get a visitor to complete your form, the better. So limit the amount of form fields you have for them to fill out to enter. And if you have more questions to ask them, you can contact them after because you will have their contact information, or you should, at least their email. Number seven, A-B test your form. A-B testing is a great way to optimize your form. So what that means, you'll create your original form and maybe the submit button says submit and you'll also create a variation of that form and maybe the submit button says get your free ebook. And you'll see what the different results are based on the different wording of your CTA buttons. And if there is a difference, go with the one that's better. 
Remember, tips that I or anyone may give you about how to create your form may work for some people, but may not work for you and your audience. So that's why you need to test it out and see what works best. So don't change everything on your variation because you only wanna be testing one single change. And how it works is that every single person that comes to your form will see either form A or form B, so the original or the variation. If you split it 50-50 for half the people seeing A and half the people seeing B, that's the best way to go because you can see which one's converting better. To make sure the results aren't based on chance, I would recommend running your campaign for at least a week. Conversion rates will change based on time of day or day of the week. At Wishbond, we have a really easy form creator and A-B testing tool. Get started. That's it, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us support at wishpond.com. Thanks for watching.